You're getting very sleepy. You will subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. Glad you're here. Uh, today I'm going to be making a bottle stopper. Um, this is a bottle stopper as, as it is. I'm actually going to turn a piece of wood and resin mixed together on the lathe. And it's going to be threaded into it. And it's going to come out from here. It's going to be a, a nice decorative piece for a bottle stopper like a wine bottle or I guess any other kind of bottle you want to put it in. Uh, let's go on and turn the piece uh, let me show you real quick this is the piece that I'm going to be using it is a lace redwood burl wood see some of the burl and stuff in here and, and it has a black resin with a little bit of white pearl in it uh, should be kind of neat we'll see how it turns out <laughs> it turns out literally turn on the lathe um, but yeah <clears throat> I'm going to turn this down and we're going to get it put on here and we'll take a look at it at the end and see what it looks like. She stood all alone at the bus stop For fear she was willing to be The blood that ran down to her bare feet Came from the switchblade she taped to her leg Her mother named her Katerina But all the boys knew her as Kitty She worked at the Ruby Bonita Longest legs in Mexico City She had to get out of this ghost town Building would take a while to burn. They called it the Ruby Muerta since the bartender swallowed the world. Oh, she smoked a cigarette that she stole from Jesus, and the thought of him brought her to tears. What could have been without the trail and sin? I know they
All right, so here's a look at it. Looks pretty good so far. A um, little bit of the, you can see the shiny pearl powder that was put into the resin. Um, overall, kind of kind of a neat project, something to something to do. And so I kind of trimmed that off and cleaned it up and put another finished coat back on top of it too. Same thing down here in the bottom. Uh, what I'm gonna do is now that I have my center point, I'm gonna get a drill bit that is just smaller than the threads on this end and I'm gonna drill it down through here and um, since I don't have an actual tap set what I'm gonna do is once I get the hole in it just slightly smaller I'm going to screw this in and basically kind of cut the threads with this into this and then I'll get that fit in kind of take a look at it see what I think about it and then I'll back it back out and probably put some epoxy down in here around the threads and stuff and then really lock it in and let it set up and cure and then it'll uh kind of an idea that's kind of what it's going to look like so let's get to that and uh take a look at it at the end all right so there it is i uh, got it all set in there uh got it threaded in and I put some CA glue in it just to hold it in place. Uh, it'll hold just as well as epoxy will. Uh, this doesn't have a lot of force on it. Uh, if you want to, you can put epoxy down in here, a two-part epoxy if you want to wait on it to set up. Uh, but overall, I think it came out pretty well. I'm pleased with the end result, the first one of these I've ever done. But uh, I like it. I think it looks really neat. Uh, it's actually one of the first pieces that I've ever turned that had resin in with the wood. Um, so that was a, kind of a new experience too, but neat to learn. And uh, Of course, it's got super glue all over my fingers. I do every time I mess with it. But anyway, so that's that. That's uh, how to make a bottle stopper. Turned on the lathe and set up with uh, one of these kits here. It's pretty neat. Just slide it down into the bottle, seals it up. Pull it back out when you're ready to use it and cap it off when you're done with it. Alright, so that was a pretty fun project. I had a really good time making this. Uh, like I said, it was something new. Something I've wanted to try for a long time. Uh, probably got around, finally got around to doing. So, um, yeah, this is uh, real neat. Got a good weight to it. Just real nice look. I'll put some pictures at the end, kind of get a good look at it. Uh, but that's going to do it for another one. Thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification. <laughs> Why do I do this like all the time? I'm stumbling over my words like bleh. <laughs> don't forget to hit the notification bell when you subscribe. That way you don't miss out on the new videos. Um, so that's going to do it. Thank you all for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>